In this morning's Health Watch, a Survivor champion battles cancer again. We learned this week that Ethan Zahn, winner of Survivor Africa 10 years ago, is starting a new round of cancer treatment. It's just one more challenge for someone who's gotten used to achieving his goals. One vote each. He was the survivor who not only triumphed in the network series of the same name, the winner of Survivor Africa. He beat Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer which attacks the lymphatic or immune system and which he was diagnosed with in 2009. Hey, people.com. I'm at the hospital right now. Ethan Zahn underwent intensive chemotherapy and radiation, keeping this video diary. There you go. Not so bad. Shot number three. And shaving off his trademark curls before the chemo caused too much of his hair to fall out. There you have it. Bald is the new afro. After receiving a stem cell transplant and more radiation, the former soccer player learned his cancer was in remission. So far, so good, right? Yeah. This year, he and his girlfriend of eight years and fellow Survivor winner Jenna Maraska signed up for the amazing race, which kicked off in September. How do I look, hon? Ridiculous. The same month, Zahn learned his cancer had returned after 20 months of remission, localized in the lung area. I'm going to have to carry on. I'm just lucky that I have the best doctors in the world and an incredibly supportive family. Girlfriend Jenna. Zahn is now receiving a new chemotherapy treatment which only targets the areas affected. And he's still moving forward with his plans to run in the New York City Marathon on Sunday, refusing to let cancer sideline him. It's for fighting cancer. It's for everything. Are we ready? Kilo! Woo! All right, let's go win the race! And Ethan Zahn and Jenna Morask are here with us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good Thanks morning. for being with us. So you find out that you're back. And um, how did you find out that you have cancer again? Well, I was having some like presenting symptoms, which for me was just itchy skin. And I went back for you know one of my routine checkups and my scans, and they you know found that the cancer... itchy skin. Yeah, you know one of the symptoms of Hodgkin's lymphoma is itchy skin, along with you know fevers, night sweats, loss of weight, which I didn't have. But I felt completely healthy, normal. We we're filming a TV show, Everyday Health, and so our life is going great. And then, bang, you get yeah. slapped in the face. You, I mean, you've gone through this, the two of you, because you can go through it together one time already. Did you? I mean, was there that, ugh, how could this happen again? To fight through this once is one thing, but to now have to deal with it another time. Jen. Yeah, I, def I think because the first time we were like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to clear our deck, we're going to make everything available. Then when you you know, go into remission, you get your life back and you make plans and you, you know, we have things we wanted to do and then all of a sudden it's threatened to be taken away from you again. You're just, there's a flurry of emotions. It's almost it's more devastating. Than yeah. Angry and sad and scared. And Everything. Just, everything's coming. But you're not going to let them take the New York Marathon no away way. from you. You're I've, still running on Sunday. Of course. I've been training for months. You know, my to my charity, Grassroots Soccer. We have a team of 70 runners this year. Wow. We're going to raise $200,000 for HIV AIDS. And, you know, and I just want to say... race runners, right? Yeah. Amazing race. And <laughs> some amazing racers on there, too. How difficult was it, though? Because training for something like that is not easy with what you've had to go through. Yeah, you know, the chemotherapy I'm on right now... Um, it's pretty good. It's called SGN 35. You know, the side effects aren't that bad. It's yeah. targeted. It's smart therapy. So I've still been training through it, and I'm feeling strong and feeling healthy. Can I ask how much different it is, the, the treatment this time around? Because like you mentioned, it is localized. It's a little bit different. Is it is it more painful? Is it less painful? Or do you have as many bad days as you did the first time around? Or um, So far, it's, it's good. Um, but... You know, it's called smart therapy because it only targets the cancer cells within my. It's you know, confusing though because it only targets the cancer cells, so it doesn't destroy your body. You don't lose your hair, so he doesn't look sick. And but you know, inside there is this epic battle going on, so it's really confusing because you he looks you know fine, but you have this kind of war going on inside, so it's really hard to kind of manage yeah. these two worlds. Ethan clearly is a fighter, but so are you, Jenna. You've been there by his side. What advice do you have to partners, people who are going through this with people in their lives that they love? Yeah, for every person that's fighting, there's always somebody there helping them out, a caretaker, someone in the shadows, someone in the forefront. And I think for me, it's just being able to have a really good support system, someone that you can really break down to, scream at, do whatever you need to do that you don't feel comfortable doing in front of the person that you're taking care of. And yeah. I think we all need that outlet and we just need, you know, good friends and, you know, keeping your activities, keeping the things that you love to do. Don't let cancer take anything away from you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just kick it out the door. Ethan, a lot of people see you, they know you obviously from, they know both of you from Survivor and then you know, the shot of the amazing race and now you're running <laughs> in the marathon. <laughs> 
they probably think you were a superhero in, in, in some circles, but do you ever get scared? Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that say, God, he just seems like he can do everything and he, and he can beat anything. But at some point, like you've even mentioned, you get it once, it's bad, but you get it twice, that's, that's a whole different ballgame. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm scared. You know, every single day, you know, you wake up and you have the worst fears that are going through your head, you know. But for me, it's you got to take that crisis, you got to take that moment, that negativity, and turn it into something positive. Yeah. And for me, you know, doing what I'm doing, going public, it's just, you know, sending a message of hope to everyone out there because the perception of cancer in the world is there's winners and there's losers. You either win and you beat cancer, or you lose and you die. Yeah. But there are millions of people out there that are living with cancer, and that's okay too. You know, I'm not a failure. Mm -hmm. You're living proof. Question. What, how amount of time do you want to run the race in on Sunday? <laughs> well, I'd like to run it better than last year, four hours, 16 minutes, but I'm guiding a blind person this year as well, this guy Aaron Scheide. But he's a fast yeah, runner. He's a fast yeah, runner. He's he did it really like two hours. So I can't, there's no excuse, really. But uh, I know, think just as long as you finish. Yeah, so. it's the act of running it, I think that's more important. Great accomplishment. Yeah. And uh, we're, again, thrilled to have you here with us again, and we wish you the very best. We're Thank really you so much. Thanks for cheering you on from the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Thanks, guys. <laughs>